Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Dark Spectrum. Photographs have the ability to preserve moments that would otherwise be forgotten as time continues to move at a rapid rate. In some cases, the story behind the photographs are truly bizarre. Here is top five photos with eerie backstories. The young girl seen in this 1970 photo is Jeannie Wiley of California, otherwise known as the feral child, barely able to walk at age 13. For her entire life, her father had abused her viciously, keeping her in a makeshift straitjacket and tying her to a children's toilet in a locked room all day. When she made any sound or did anything he didn't like, he growled and bared his teeth at her like a dog. At first they assumed autism. Then they discovered she could not talk. She was incontinent and salivated and spat. She had two nearly complete sets of teeth, extra teeth in such cases are known as supernumeraries, a rare dental condition. She could barely chew or swallow and could not fully focus her eyes or extend her limbs. While most children her age weighed 75 to 145 pounds, Jeannie weighed only 59 pounds. It made news as one of the U.S. worst cases of child abuse. When this photo was taken at a hospital just after she was rescued, her life inside a series of abusive institutions were only beginning. Her whereabouts today are unknown. On August 6, 1945, the United States of America dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. And for some of the approximately 80,000 people who lost their lives, only a nuclear shadow remained. When the bomb detonated at 1900 feet above the city's center, the subsequent explosion caused temperatures of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit to annihilate nearly everything within 1600 feet of the bomb's blast zone. Almost anything and anyone within a mile was destroyed. The bomb's light and heat were so extreme that they bleached the city's exposed surfaces except in places where an unsuspecting person shielded the building or a sidewalk or a bridge from the blast with their own body in their final moments alive. Perhaps the most famous of the Hiroshima shadows is that of the person sitting on the bank steps. It is one of the most complete impressions left behind by the blast and remained in place for over 20 years before it was removed and taken to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Now visitors can see the horrific Hiroshima shadows up close at the memorials to the horrors of nuclear weapons. This is a group photo of the family who later became famous as those involved in the Amityville Horror, pictured in the actual house that the horrendous murders took place. The gruesome Amityville murders are regarded as a catalyst for the spirits haunting 112 Ocean Avenue. However, some argue that the DeFeo family were also victims of the house. Around 6.30 p.m. on November 13, 1974, 23-year-old DeFeo entered Henry's Bar in Amityville, Long Island, New York and declared, quote, You gotta help me. I think my mother and father are shot. End quote. DeFeo's friend, Joe, made an emergency call to the Suffolk County Police Department who searched the house and found that six members of the family were dead in their beds. 
The victims were Ronald Jr.'s parents, Ronald DeFeo Sr., age 43, and Lois DeFeo, age 43. His four siblings, Dawn, age 18, Allison, age 13, Mark, age 12, and John Matthew, age 9. According to Suffolk County Police, the victims were all found laying face down in bed. DeFeo would later confess to the slaying of his family. DeFeo told detectives, quote, Once I started, I just couldn't stop. It went so fast, end quote. During his trial in November of 1975, DeFeo claimed that voices told him to commit the murders. On March 2021, DeFeo died in prison. Captured inside the Amityville Horror House in 1976, this creepy vintage photo remains one of the most chilling paranormal images of all time. After the DeFeo murders, 13 months later, the house next owner, George Lutz, claimed the home was haunted and called in famed paranormal investigators Ed and Lorene Warren to help. The image was supposedly captured by Gene Campbell, a professional photographer who was part of the team who worked with Ed and Lorene Warren. Gene had set up an automatic camera that took infrared pictures to capture the second floor landing during the night. Equipped with black and white film, his camera captured this Amityville Ghost Boy photo that some have speculated could be the ghost boy of the murdered child, John DeFeo, who had lived in the house with his family prior to the Lutz. Even though a priest was called to bless the home, after 28 days, the Lutz fled the house. On the morning of July 2nd, 1951 in St. Petersburg, Florida, Mary Reeser's landlady went to the old woman's apartment to deliver a telegram and noticed that her door was warm to the touch. Upon opening the door, she found Reeser's almost completely reduced to a pile of ashes lying on the scorched remains of her chair. A part of her left leg and her skull shrunken far beyond its normal size were all that remained. St. Petersburg Police Chief J.R. Riker sent the evidence to FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. Riker included a note saying, quote, We request any information or theories that could explain how a human body could be so destroyed and the fire confined to such a small area and so little damage done to the structure of the building and the furniture in the room, not even scorched or damaged by smoke. The FBI determined that Risa had gone up in flames like the wick of a candle with her own body fat steadily feeding the fire. But they too were baffled as to how the blaze started in the first place. To this day, it's widely believed that this was a case of spontaneous human combustion. 